Hello guys, welcome to Noah's Tech Info. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your IP address from dynamic to static on Windows 10. So without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. Okay, so first off, I'm going to press start. And I'm going to type in run. Right, you click on this button here. And then you're going to type in CMD. And you'll click on OK. And then it will bring up a window here. And then we are going to do to find your current IP address of your local computer, you are going to type in IP config and press enter. And here, if you look under IPv4 address, you can see my address is 192.168.163.136. Now, this will not be your IP address in your case. Whenever you do this, you must follow your IPv4 address on your screen. You must also look at your gateway, which mine is 192.168.1.163.2 and your subnet mask, which in most cases is 255.255.255.0. So we will pop this to one side over here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the type search button and I'm going to type in control panel. Yeah. Then what I'm going to do is click on network and internet. Then I'm going to click on, click on network and sharing center. Then I'm going to click on change adapter settings. And then your current network connection is going to be the one you're going to right click and choose properties. Look for internet protocol version 4 and choose properties. And then we're going to type in the address that we see in this window over here and we're going to copy it into here. So I'm going to type in an IP address 192.168.163 dot one three six subnet mask is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero which is normal and it will fill that in for you and your default gateway which is here mine is one nine two dot one six eight eight dot one six three dot two and you can keep the DNS the same and click on OK and close And in order to change it back dynamic or have it changing, you're once again going to go back into start, type in control panel, go back into network and internet, go into network and sharing center, go into change adapter settings, right click your connection, choose properties, look for internet protocol version 4, choose properties. And then you're going to click on obtain an IP address automatically. And also click on obtain DNS server address automatically. And click on OK and close. And that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you would like to request a video, please leave your comments in the comment section below or check out our Discord server, which is now in the link in the description.